Welcome to Talking Tigers. I'm Rachel Whitaker. Let's rejoin LSU spring football now with LSU beat writer Jim Klein Peter. Hey, Jim. Hi, Rachel. Well, we got to talk with Anthony Jennings and Brandon Harris on Tuesday, and they both know that the LSU offense really starts with them, and they they know they underperformed last season, no doubt about it. And so, what was your assessment of their approach, both in practice and even in interviews, about how they want to improve? Well, they both uh, uh, learned from last year, or so they say, um, particularly Brandon, who probably went into the season with, uh, you know, thinking that he was just going to step in and wing it and, and go, and he didn't realize what being a college quarterback was. Uh, he knew how to be a quarterback. He just didn't know how to be a college quarterback. All the work it took, uh, the constant uh, preparation, the, uh, the overtime he, he he should have been spending in the in the in the uh, film room. I think uh, he, he was just a little young uh, and hadn't been on college campus before. So Anthony uh, Jennings had been through that before. He knew he watched Zach Mettenberger prepare uh, firsthand. He knew what he was going to have to do, and uh, uh, he was a little bit more prepared. And I think that's why he was able to handle it. He was he was a little more settled down. Um, he didn't perform well, and he knows it, and he said that. He said, I wasn't good enough. It was uh, an admission that came about midway through the interview, and, uh, you know, he, he wants to be better, and I think his ceiling is a little bit lower than Brandon. Brandon has has a, a more talent, a stronger arm. He's faster, but he has a lot uh, more in the poise department uh, to achieve before he can get on the field ahead of Anthony Jennings. Right, and Jennings said that improving mentally will help him out physically right here. Um, I think I, I kind of tried to squeeze, squeeze stuff in at the small windows. Um, I have to put the ball where it needs to be, put the ball in the face of the receivers, maybe not behind them, maybe, maybe not too high, not too low. So, uh, And also, if, if the guy's in open, just go to the check down, uh, extend the play to, to run, throw it away. Uh, those kind of things, uh, and making better decisions with the football will uh, increase that uh, completion percentage. And here's Harris on what he needs to fix as a sophomore. You know, anytime you have a situation where you know you're not playing as, as good as you can, um, you take it very personally. And, uh, you know, I'm just I'm eager to get on the field for this upcoming season. Obviously, you take uh, spring you know, day by day, but I'm eager to get on the the field this upcoming season and just show everybody how I've revamped what I, you know, my footwork, um, learning defenses, post-snap, pre-snap, and just improving overall as a quarterback. Well, again, it's very early, just two days into spring workouts, but again, all eyes are going to be on these two guys to see uh, who can take the that starting snap in September against McNeese State. But again, a lot of a lot of time to really show what they've done from last year to this year. Well, Jim, thanks a lot. My pleasure, Rachel. And tune in on Thursday when we'll have basketball's SEC tournament preview. Thanks for watching.